Image Comics presents Chew, issue 60. Written by John Lehman, drawn by Rob Guillory. Sour Grapes, part 5 of 5. Many, many years later. Epilogue. What's the matter, Chew? You nervous? No. Not nervous. Remembering. The night before. Was it good for you? Please, Miss Cardante, no more. How about another go? What do you say, stud? Please, Miss Cardante, no more. Call me Jenny. Or Special Agent Hot Stuff, if you prefer. I, I can't keep up with you, and I feel terrible. Well, a couple of chomptopus daiquiris will do that to you. My head is pounding. Yeah, I could hear it from here. No, that's your door. Olive! Get dressed. Gun and badge. We've got work to do. Uh... Warren? Warren from accounting? Oh, hello, special agent Chu. Good to see you. Peter Palath, the cybo geo nunciator at the FDA lab, picked up a trace on him. Old Foodville's, south side. And it's going to be a bloodbath for the entire sector if we don't get there and stop him. Olive? Is she even remotely sober? She keeps insisting I'm a five-foot armadillo and that she's a super ultraviolet, downy-furried, woodland sex tyrant of justice. Does that sound sober to you? Actually... That sounds like a typical weeknight for Ginny. Jin, this is a big fucking case. I'm gonna need you at 100% on this. Aye aye, Captain. Come here, you slippery little bastard. Oh yeah! Let's rock and roll! Rock and roll. Warren, from accounting? Seriously? Oh yeah, he's dreamy, don't you think? Uh... Carrot speeder. Set autopilots for Old Foodville. Intersection of Acorn and Adobo. We've already set up our next date. We're gonna get together next week for a bowl of virtual reality chili and, similar view, the big alien invasion ceremony. Ginny, it's a first contact ceremony. The first face-to-face -face meeting between humans and the extraterrestrials who've been traveling decades to meet us. We're signing a non-aggression pact with them. A non-eating pact. And an agreement to share technology. Though it's mostly their technology that's being shared, and a lot of it's been shared already. And it's happening tomorrow, not next week. Really? So Warden got the date wrong for our date? Or he gave you a fake one to blow you off. <laughs> well, at least my boyfriend is not an escape from a maximum security food prison super-powered homicidal lunatic. <laughs> Peter Piloff is not my boyfriend. But he likes you, right? Maybe, but I'm pretty sure he's grown to hate me, too, over the years. Especially after our last meeting. But he's obsessed with you. That's fair to say, right? Every time he's gone to prison, it's been because you caught him. Not the first time. The first time was my dad. But every time since, right? Maritime skirmish against a sea of sentient soup. 
Chocolate Scythe versus Killer Cornfield. Chug Farm Occupation. Goddamn right every time since, and every time hence, until we figure out some way to kill him. Hello, Olive Chew. How you doing, fuckface? Busted out of the Supermax again, I see. Saw an opportunity, took it. And this? Wanted to get your attention. Uh-huh. Mission accomplished. Grew your arm back, too, didn't you? I did, and it hurt like hell. You like it? It's asparagus. And it's not the only new thing I've got to show you, either, lovely Olive. Peter Pillar's abilities have still not fully been identified, but it is agreed he possesses the most powerful and lethal food-related powers on the face of the planet. Powers that are ever-changing and ever-increasing. I've learned some new tricks since you've last met me. Psychological evaluations, however, have been consistent and unanimous. Peter Palaf is a psychopath. An extreme narcissist with control issues and antisocial personality disorder. Let's play, Olive! An obsessive personality with intense, unwavering fixations. A seemingly limitless capacity for cruelty and violence. What's going on, O? Oh? Seeds, Ginny. And this has been reflected in each of his food-based incarnations and aspects. Olive, 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 olive. Mmm. Shit. Hmm? Prickly pear! Gonna need you in front of me, Ginny. That's a big 10 for good buddy. Damn it, Pilaf. If you've hurt my partner, you're going to pay. I didn't think she could be hurt. As long as she's sufficiently addled. Isn't that her whole shtick? Even so, you tried. Ginny? Fuck him up, girlfriend. The Pharmacosyros is impervious to damage, while his or her neurotransmitters are affected after the ingestion of psychotropic substances. It's just you and me now, Olive. Just as it should be. And now, for my next trick. Fuck no! No more tricks, no more games, and I hope that hurts like hell to grow back, too. Damn you, Olive. You can't kill me, you know. I'll just grow it back with different powers, stronger powers, and then you'll have to find me. No, I can't kill you, but I can send you back to prison. <laughs> and this time, before you see an opportunity to escape again, well, this should keep you from seeing anything for a while. Hey, what'd I miss? Call for a prison transfer, Jin. This case is closed. And so? All right, Ginny. See you later. Adios, Solid. Say hi to your mother for me. My dad, Ginny. My mom died when I was like three months old. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Hey, Uncle Chow, what's happening? Just gardening, Olive. What's it look like? They've got bots for that now, Uncle. Not the same girl. You know this. Is my dad inside? Your dad? How the fuck would I know? What am I, his keeper? No, but you live together. 
You see him every day. You spend almost every waking moment together. Yeah, and I hate every minute of it. Fuck that guy. Lousy brother, rotten, no good, good for nothing, raisin, raisin. Hey, Uncle Chow. What? I had a really long night. How about you make me some breakfast? Something delicious. One of your special secret, extra yummy recipes. Yeah, I think I can do that. Come on, Olive Honey. Let's go inside. Tough night at work? Eh. Same old, same old, really. Well, make yourself comfortable, dear. Give me ten minutes. I'll whip you up something Mwah! magnificent. Hey, Uncle Chow? Why were you outside gardening? How come you're not watching the landing ceremony on the hollow tomato? The landing ceremony? That's the day? The landing ceremony. I remember everything. Great. Do you remember my husband, Chu? How happy we were? How much I loved him? I still hate you, Chu. I hate your guts, Chu. Always have and always will. I hate, 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 hate. You, Chu. Would you two people shut the fuck up? This isn't a place for this sort of nonsense. This here is a big day. This here is the biggest day ever. I don't know where your dad is, Olive. Yeah, he got an invite to the ceremony thing, but I don't see him actually attending. Too many bad memories. Plus... Your pop doesn't really get round like he used to. Turns out, those baseball guys really did a number on old Anthony's kneecaps. <laughs> Uncle Chow? Hello and welcome, my friends. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to our planet. Your planet as well. Welcome home. It is my honor to welcome you. And on behalf of the United States, the United Nations, NATO, the World Government, the Food Consortium, the International Space Agency, NASA, and other organizations, including the World Health Organization, the FDA, the USDA, the International Weather Source, and the DFA. We welcome you after your long interstellar journey and offer you unreserved friendship and hospitality. We look forward to a bright new era for planet Earth of peace, understanding, cooperation to community and are eager for both our peoples to share and learn one another's culture, knowledge, technologies and science and recipes. Uncle Chow! Ah! Oh, shit. God damn it. Uncle Chow, what happened to my dad's knife? What's that, Olive? The chocolate knife that I carved for my dad, that I used to kill the collector. He hung it on the wall, right behind Aunt Tony's picture. You don't think he... He... You have our gratitude, human emissary. May I present you to President Porterhouse, Vice President Eccles, General Secretary Vatrushka, and President Council Premier Yang Tao. And here is His Majesty the King, as well as Executive Director Parnir Sharma of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It was Director Sharma who oversaw the long-range communications of the... Chew, the hell are you doing? Chew! Chew! End. Chew. Book 8. Sour Grapes. Finn.